now we we know this to be the the van der waals equation we now introduce an interesting concept called the called the boil temperature or boil point boil temperature or boil point okay boil temperature is the temperature at which a gas behaves ideally over a large pressure range you understand let's try to understand it the temperature at which a real gas behaves ideally over a large pressure range over a large pressure range now now what should happen at boil temperature it is actually derivable from here okay uh, but will require some some fundamentals of calculus to reach that point okay and and some some fundamental of taylor series expansion of the series fine but it can be done okay see what we are trying to do is is at some temperature suppose you have increased the pressure right so what happens the molecules tend to come together so their intermolecular forces increase so it deviates from the ideal behavior right now what happens now what happens at that point you increase the temperature right so whatever intermolecular attraction has gathered due to the nearness of the of the particles that will be overcome by the energy that these gain due to increase in temperature you understand that now th this this can keep on happening at so many so many pressures right at so many pressure points this will happen what we are trying to find is that point where the pressure range is maximum so you can specify say variation from one till about 0.02 up or down and, and and you can find out where it will remain the maximum understand about which that point that temperature about which when you vary the pressure range for a for, for a large amount okay the maximum pressure range for which it it keeps on behaving like an ideal gas No, didn't get it. We are not trying to find anything. What we are trying to say is, at that temperature around which a range of pressures also does not make it deviate from the ideal behavior. So what happens when we reach that point or in the vicinity of that point, and we are dealing with the gas, we can straight away apply our ideal equation instead of coming to the van der Waals. Okay. So what we are saying is, when that temperature is there and in that pressure range. It, 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 it will happen at so many temperatures yeah. but that temperature when the when the pressure range over which the ideality persists is maximum, is maximum. the the large pressure range the largest pressure range over which it is ideal so that it follows the graph that we have it, it follows this graph the straight line kind of graph for the ideal graph. Hmm. because it but becomes don't follow it just follows this that means you are trying to do what you are trying to kind of say that maybe 
this and say the temperature is high and it kind of flattens like this. So this if you if, if you start if you start tell me one thing if you start increasing because what we had drawn earlier say at a low temperature the deviation will be more. This is low temperature. This is a higher temperature. Is it not? Is it not? Maybe this is still higher temperature. Because we know as we increase the temperature. Okay. So what we are trying to do, what temperature, at what temperature for the largest pressure range, it behaves like an ideal gas. Why won't it go lower than, lower than 1? It can never go lower than 1. It cannot stay lower than 1 no? because the pressure also matters. No? Eventually that, that P and B term encapsulates all. It overcomes everything. As you start increasing the pressure, we had seen that ultimately it has to turn positive. So it just cannot stay below. Correct. It is the, the huge pressure term. And obviously, it is the relative values of the A and B also which, which affect it. But ultimately, if you actually increase the pressure, then the increased pressure increases P and B and the decreased volume increases that, that makes the right, right hand dual term as positive. So, they are also increasing the temperature, so what is coming to play? But, but, but that is what is happening, that is what I am saying. When you increase the temperature, the gas starts behaving ideally even when it is it is compressed to, to small volumes due to the kinetic energy gained. But, but in what range of pressure will it be able to do that? Maybe, maybe at a very, very highly compressed <coughs> volume state, at a very high pressure, what happens? It it will it'll, it'll behave ideally, but, but for a very small <coughs> range of pressure. And maybe for a very small range of pressure. We want that temperature for which a large range of pressure a large range of pressure variation ensures an ideal behavior. You're not getting it. If you do all that jugglery, then perhaps this is not in your in your syllabus, but that boil temperature. Perhaps comes out to be this. This is the boil temperature ultimately. And it 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 agrees with with experimental values for a large number of gases. Okay. This is your boil temperature. And it can be derived, so so don't worry. This this is the theoretical boil temperature. Okay. I don't know if, if it is in the book. Yes, it is in the IT series. Okay. Now, above the boil temperature for T greater than this, what happens? We have Z is greater than 1. <coughs> and for T less than TB, we have z less than 1. Now, now this becomes very, very easy from this. So I will maybe erase one of them. They are making it a mess. Also remove this. We have seen that for if this is your Tb, this is your that pressure. If you take it higher than the higher than your TB, then then the Z value will go above that, above one. Z is greater than one. As for T less than TB, your Z will be less than one. Fine. Okay. Forces of attraction between the molecules are very feeble. 
obviously the at at boils temperature temperature the increased kinetic energy due to high temperature the increased kinetic energy due to the high temperature overcomes overcomes the intermolecular attraction okay the intermolecular attraction now below the boils temperature z becomes z first first decreases with increasing pressure reaches a minimum and then continuously increases then continuously increases with increase in pressure okay okay fine 